Lara Ferreira here with Compass Home Group and this Saturday I am in Bel Air shouting out to another locally owned business, Yoga Centric. Come on inside and let's talk to Candace Hennessy and find out all about what the Yoga Centric has to offer here in Harford County. So here we are with Candace Hennessy, the owner of Yoga Centric in Harford County. So Candace, tell us a little about the place. Uh, so Yoga Centric was uh, established, opened actually August of 2015, mm -hmm. so at the end of the summer, and uh, we've been running steady ever since. We started off with just over 20 classes on our schedule, and we have uh, almost 60 classes a week, if not, wow. we may have reach that point, so yeah. Wow, how many teachers do you have here? Uh, we have a total of 29 teachers, mm -hmm. um, some of which do work here only uh, as their primary job, mm -hmm. but others who it's their fun job and they have uh, other full-time mm -hmm. careers and this is what they do, you know, to keep themselves on their yoga mat. Mm -hmm. Nice, so you do offer um, a variety of classes, I assume, from like intermediate or beginners or what, what type of classes? So uh, Yoga Centric is primarily a hot yoga studio. Okay. So the majority of our classes are heated. Our signature classes are all heated. They range from 85 degrees uh, to 95 degrees. Wow. All of our classes are open to all levels. However, nice. when you read the descriptions of the classes, you'll find one that maybe suits you as far as where you are in your yoga practice, whether mm -hmm. it's the first time you've been on a mat or you've been an avid practitioner for years. Uh, we also have non-heated classes and that menu of classes has gotten uh, to be much larger as our community has grown. Mm -hmm. So we now offer uh, Vinyan, which is a combination of a flow class and a resting class. And then we also offer a restorative yoga class that oh, nice. has been on the schedule since the beginning and does really well uh, for those who don't love the heat. And then aerial yoga, which is wow. one of our signature classes here that's non-heated. So do people come in as beginners for aerial yoga or is that something that you kind of, you're already intermediate and then you would try that? I've just always been interested Yeah, so myself. initially what I would say is most individuals who have not heard of Ariel, when they mm -hmm. see the silks in the back of the room, mm -hmm. they immediately say, oh, no, 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 I can't right. do that. But once we explain to them that you're actually only about a foot and a half oh, off the ground okay. to start, they feel more comfortable. So we encourage beginners to try Ariel as a uh, part of their practice because okay. it can enhance the poses that they're learning on the mat. And... Um, I've seen you've done some some community yoga. Do you guys still do that, like community in this in the studio community right, yoga? Right. Oh yeah, yeah. We have uh, three three community classes on the schedule now. Mm -hmm. uh, even one at 9 p.m. on Wednesday night, wow. and uh, we do get. 25 to 30 people in that wow. class at 9 p.m. A lot of moms and dads who get the kids settled in nice. and come out, or uh, some of the younger kids, and those are $7. So okay. that's yeah, nice. It's a nice Affordable. Way. Yeah. For the family, too. Mm -hmm. That's fun. You do some kids' yoga, too, right? Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about that. You have events and things more than just the yoga classes. You guys host events once in a while, right? Could you tell us about those? Yeah. Initially, when we opened the studio, we did. Um, periodic workshops, mm -hmm. birthday parties, things of that nature to introduce families to the studio via their children. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, as of almost three months ago, we do offer three regularly scheduled children's classes. Uh, they are placed at 4.30 every day to kind of provide a transition oh, for kids yeah, from school nice. to home so mm -hmm. the parents can bring them right here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mm -hmm. to um, practice yoga and get them settled mm -hmm. in for the evening. And paint nights, you've done those in the past, right? I think I've seen those on the schedule before. Yeah, they are very popular. Yeah. Um, they're very unique in the way that uh, all of our focuses for paint night are focused around yoga philosophy or something okay. um, related to asana, the practice of yoga. Okay. So participants will come in and they will do a light flow with Alexis, who is our in-studio artist, mm -hmm. who also, when you walked in the front door, you'll see the chalkboard yeah. and she Gorgeous. does a lot of our art here. So she does yoga practice with them and then they get acquainted with each other. And right now we're actually doing a, th a series of three. It's a mandala on canvas. Oh, so nice. we have a focus on of each, you know. Do you do them right in the studio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking there's no mm -hmm. tables here. You yeah. just yeah, that's we keep, nice. we keep them cool. out back against okay. the building and then okay. just bring them in. Mm -hmm. One thing I love about this studio is how you have the garage doors that open mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that mm -hmm. one of your favorites yeah. too? Yeah. So did you did you get this place knowing they were there? Did you put them? How did that work? Was that just a bonus or? Yeah, actually, when we found this location. Mm -hmm. Uh, initially, the building was falling apart in a oh, lot of okay. ways, and it was between owners and actually um, 
bank owned, so there wasn't oh. a lot of work put into the okay. place. We ended up replacing the one garage door for the sole purpose of being able to open and close yeah. it and having a really nice insulated door. That was one of the main attractions of the building. Mm -hmm. I felt that we could provide a uh, indoor outdoor oh, yeah. experience. So in the summer and in the spring, as you know, when you've been yes. here, um, we'll open it anytime. Yeah. I like when it's the open in allows. the middle sometimes or at the uh, end and you just hear the trees, especially in the evenings mm -hmm. if you come for a, a class that goes into the evening, you know, it's yeah. wonderful. And the, the nice cool air just yeah. brushes yeah, over you. Yeah, especially in mm -hmm. those warm classes. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else that you would like everyone in Harford County to know about your studio? You hmm. have this opportunity to tell them. You know, this, uh, the opportunity for me here has been unique in itself because mm -hmm. when I put everything on paper mm -hmm. initially before opening it all looked like a great story and mm -hmm. something that I would love to come to fruition mm -hmm. so it's just been a really neat experience for myself and those who work here and come here to also be part of that story and mm -hmm. see this kind of unfold um, but where we are now is the future is just kind of open to other ideas and other options we've grown beyond hot yoga mm -hmm. into a lot of other areas so we always encourage those who've been here or not been here that have ideas or want to bring um, their talents here to work into yoga philosophy or the practice mm -hmm. we're always open to that and then also uh, I like everyone to know that the first six months we were open, 87% of our clients had never been on a yoga mat. Mm -hmm. And Me. it's Go still ahead. pretty high. Mm -hmm. So our community managers, the girls that work up front, they do a really nice job mm -hmm. transitioning and easing clients that come in that mm -hmm. haven't been on a yoga mat. So I don't want anyone to feel afraid to right. come in. Uh, yeah, because it can There's, be daunting. Mm -hmm. when, when you think about it, if you mm -hmm. haven't done it before, just like many things that are unknown, mm -hmm. you know, it's scary, but it is not scary to come here at all. It's very welcoming, and I totally agree. I would totally agree with that. Well, thank you. Sure. Yeah, so um, your schedule, people want to come out and find a class. What's the best way for them to to find out when they can come to a class? Well, if time allows, I always encourage uh, new clients to come to the front door and mm -hmm. walk in the studio okay. um, in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't really close, so to come in and see the studio, mm -hmm. get acquainted. Uh, my great studio manager, Emily, or some of the other girls that work up front during the day, they're more than happy to show people around. That's the best way to get acquainted, okay. but if time doesn't allow, you, we have a great website mm -hmm. um, and we also have a personalized yoga centric app uh -huh. on the app store so when they download the app they'll have a full menu a full schedule with all class descriptions that can give them a really nice tour and guide as to where to start. More descriptions mm -hmm. there I believe. So yeah. your website yoga centric? Yoga centric harford.com. Okay mm -hmm. and, and then, then the app is Yoga Center Carford. Right. So, okay, and yeah. then you can also find them on Facebook. There you have it, everyone. Candace Hennessy, thank you so much Bye -bye. for showing us around you're and letting welcome. us come in. Thank you and for having me. And come on out. Try a class. If you are a seasoned expert or you're looking to give it a shot, come on by. Mm -hmm.